Hey friends, new week, new dinner ideas for you. So, uh, tonight we're having chicken stir fry. So I do it really, really simply. I've got some rice that I'm cooking on the stove top. And then I just pick up some of these stir fry veggies from Walmart. I usually do a mixture. Um, I get the deluxe and the sugar snap pea. This one, this is just chicken breast chunks. I defrosted them, they're already cooked, so I'm just gonna throw that in so everything just has to be heated through. And then the sauce that I like to use is the Kikaman stir fry sauce. So I'm gonna throw all of this into this pan and get that all cooked up. The rice I am bringing to a boil and then I will cover for about 15 minutes and then let sit for about 10 and then fluff it and we'll be ready to eat dinner. This will take a while to heat through and then I might take um, my kitchen shears and cut some of these chicken chunks a little bit smaller, but um, I'm gonna let that cook before I add the sauce in to the veggies and meat. All right, this is what everyone's having tonight. Jackson just doesn't have his with rice because he does not like rice, but he's got the veggies and meat. We're gonna sit down to dinner. We'll see you on the next one. I always say I look so funny with my contacts in and no eye makeup. Um, dinner, today. <laughs> I'm vlogging today too, so I was confused for a second on why I just picked up the camera. I am making goulash today. Uh, I've got water on the stove boiling. I've got hamburger already cooked up. Alice chose garden rotini as the pasta, so it's not like a standard goulash. I let her choose between elbow macaroni, um, medium shells, and the rotini, and she chose rotini. And then I've got a can of San Marzano tomatoes, some tomato sauce. I need to get a can of corn. Got the ground beef cooked up. And I just remembered when I made taco soup earlier this week, I forgot to put the season, or last week, I forgot to put the seasoning blend frozen veggies in. So I'm gonna throw that in with the goulash because it's got onion, celery, red pepper, green peppers, and parsley flakes. So that's gonna go in with goulash tonight. Yes. Jack's helping me with dinner. So the pasta's done. I just drained that. Um, pour that in carefully. Because it will splash. You're gonna, yep. So you wanna hold, when you pour in liquid, you wanna hold the bowl like the bowl's a little bit too big for his hands. So that's the San Marzano tomatoes, which I just roughly chopped with kitchen scissors. Um, open that bag right there with some scissors. Oh, hold on, I gotta get scissors and soapy water. All right, now it's I've got everything. No, the corn I drained the juice out of, so one can of corn. Doop, doop, doop. Pour it over the center, because if you're over. Steamy. It's not, I can, I cut my finger with scissors somehow down a little bit because you don't want it splashing. Ow, that really hurts. Look at my finger. Ow. <laughs> okay. And then the seasoning blend. This don't be afraid of it. Of I'm actually going to have to put it back on the burner to warm everything up. And then I'll taste it and figure out what seasonings to add. But you're not even going to be eating this anyway because you no. don't like goulash. Will I'll you try it? Will you try it when it's done? Fine. Fine. Maybe. Maybe. I might need another tomato sauce in here, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. All right, I did some 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's, um, some garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, a dash of cumin, I think that's it. So let me stir this and then taste it and let you know how it is. All right, I added some of this Morton Nature's Seasons. This is one of my favorite seasoning blends. I did add a little bit of cayenne because it needed like some depth to it, but I think it's finally tasting good. Hopefully it's not too much cayenne and Alice will still eat it. Um, so I'm gonna serve this up because we're hungry. All right, friends, it is another crock pot meal today. I'm doing a pot roast with, um, I cut up some baby potatoes, an onion, some peeled and sliced some carrots, and then I'm gonna put, it, this recipe is technically butter beef, so I'm gonna do a pack of Italian seasoning and a pack of ranch seasoning. It calls for one stick of butter, but I'm not gonna do the whole stick. I'll probably do more like half a stick. So I'm gonna put the butter on there, sprinkle the seasoning, and then turn it on high to get up to temperature. It's 12:30 right now, and then I'll drop it to low in a little bit and let it cook low and slow until dinner. All right, and then I forgot that I was making a recipe that <laughs> it needed banana peppers. So I went ahead and sprinkled the seasoning packets on. Did about half a stick of butter, um, a little bit of banana pepper juice, and about half a jar of the banana peppers, and one cup of beef broth. So now I'm going to let it cook and we'll check on it in a few hours. Alrighty, there is the roast and veggies. My plate is kind of big, so that's probably um, more food than what it looks like. But 
I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of pepper and go sit down and eat. The kids and Will are already eating, so that's dinner for tonight. Tomorrow we're having pizza, I believe, and then leftovers. So I will uh, end this video this weekend sometime. All right, friends, this is the last meal for this video. I made some crock pot meatballs. These are just frozen, great value homestyle meatballs um, with ragu simply marinara sauce and a can of tomato sauce. And then I made some spaghetti noodles. So we've got spaghetti and meatballs. And then I made some Bosco sticks, which are just um, frozen breadsticks with mozzarella in them. And that will be dinner tonight. The kids are already eating, so. That'll wind up this week. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment, share some love, and until next time, we will see you later. Bye.